Do you think he's dead? Really? Not just holding his breath or something? <laughs> well, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> there are ways to find out, you know. Find out what? If he's dead. Are there? Of course. You've seen enough murder mysteries on telly to know how it's done. You simply put two fingers uh, <clears throat> somewhere on his neck. But where on his neck? Uh, somewhere under his jaw, I would think. Um, go ahead. <laughs> Me? Well, certainly. I'm taller. So you have a shorter distance to travel. <laughs> Two fingers, you say? Yes. The uh, index and middle finger should do the trick. Uh, uh. Shouldn't I be wearing gloves? <laughs> or we could just go with the old tried and true. What's that? <laughs> the old boy seems to have checked out, as far as I can tell. Albert. Yes, Judith. Did we? Did we what? Did we? I can't believe I'm saying this. Did we have something to do with this? How could we, Pigeon? We've been away on holiday for the past week. I checked for bodies before we left. <laughs> you did? Of course not, darling. <laughs> just, just a little levity given the situation. <laughs> Death and all that. <laughs> I was just wondering, maybe we are responsible and it just slipped our minds. Slipped our minds? It's a corpse, precious, not a luncheon engagement. <laughs> you know us? We're always at sixes and sevens. You're forever misplacing your watch, and I'm constantly asking you to call my phone because I can never remember where I left it. Uh, yes, but that doesn't mean we'd be tossing dead bodies all about the place. <laughs> Do you think we should, you know, report it? We could, I suppose. No rush. He actually looks rather comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> we can't just leave him lying there. Uh, I'm going to fetch a blanket. He might be cold. <laughs> I would think the question of his warmth is no longer an issue. <laughs> Which gives me an idea. Back in the chip, old boy. Yeah. Uh, you may have passed on, but you're bound to be warmer than this cheese. <laughs> 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 Let's see you have a go at softening it up. <laughs> Albert! Yes, my sweet? He's facing the other way! Is he? <laughs> he was facing that way. Now he's facing this way. Did you move him? <coughs> of course not. Remember the time Philip passed out on our sofa? I was unable to lift him, so I said. He is so not Philip! <clears throat> Do you know what this means? He desired a change of scene? It means he is not dead. Perhaps he was still alive when he was facing that way. 
But then something got his attention in this direction. And after he turned his head, he just snuffed it. Huh. Now that you mention it, his upper torso does appear to be doing that in and out, up and down sort of thing. It's called breathing, dear. Oh, who the devil could that be? Oh, oh my. Oh, uh, uh, should we do something with him? We could say your cousin Philip had too much to drink. No one would be surprised. For heaven's sake, Albert, he is not fair. <laughs> no cause for alarm, it's only me. I hope I didn't no startle you. I wanted to return your key. You're very I gave your bike this a nice watering while you were away. Well, that was very kind of you. I yeah. know, but then remember that I had the key and that I should, uh, why not just announce myself and come right in? Hope you don't mind. Uh, not at all. Yeah, like the song says, uh, consider yourself part of the furniture. <laughs> With uh, some rather striking upholstery. <laughs> How was your trip? Oh. I see you've brought home a souvenir. <laughs> Rather large, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, that! Uh, well, it, it appears we uh, went through rather quite a bit of laundry on our trip, and we were just... Uh, Your laundry uh, appears to be moving. <laughs> Uh, must be that new detergent we're using. <laughs> Makes your clothes more lifelike. I say, you've met Gregory. Gregory? <clears throat> you know this person? Yes, Gregory. Uh, uh, but why is he on the floor? I said, Gregory, rather bad form for you to be faced down like that. Albert and Judith are our hosts, and you are their gift. <laughs> Did you say gift? Yes, my... Anniversary present to the two of you. You just went on holiday to celebrate your anniversary, didn't you? Albert, let's get him on the couch. Oh, Gregory, what the devil happened? Oh, my head. I must say, this is quite different from when you broke into my house. <laughs> broke in to your house? Yes. Gregory is a home security consultant. I know. He breaks, he tests the security of your dwelling by trying to break in. But what if you're home at the time? No, it's all arranged in advance. You're away, your house is empty, and Gregory is left to his own devices to try to get in. If he can't, the service is free. So we have to pay him since he got in? No, no, nothing of the sort. Uh, it's my gift to you. When Gregory got into my house, I found him sitting on the sofa eating a curry he had delivered. How's that for cheeky? <laughs> Somebody's bloody well paid me. I was nearly killed. And why was there a hunk of cheese under my arm? I will explain everything, except perhaps the cheese. Uh, but first, we should tend to this poor boy. Albert, be a dear and fetch some ice from the kitchen. And Judith, Gregory may have gotten in through a back window. You should go check to see if anything's been left open towards the rear of the house. Don't want anyone catching a chill. <laughs> you silly sod! You'll ruin everything! What's going on? Ow, my head! Your aid won't be the only thing aching if we can't salvage this disaster. Did you find what you were looking for? What was it? A water cooler? That's a color! A painting, you twit! Oh, Albert showed it to me. He bought it off some rag paper for 20 quid. 
He, I nearly fainted when he showed it to me, but I couldn't let on. It's worth thousands, probably more. Oh, that bloody fool, Albert. It's a turner. He has no clue what he's got. They are the two most oblivious people on God's green earth. What's a turner? J.M.W. Turner, famous 19th century watercolorist. Oh, didn't you learn anything in school? It's unfinished, merely a sketch, but it could bring in a fortune. You couldn't find it. I didn't have a chance. But right after I crawled in the window, something heavy hit me on the head. Oh. What I could do to stag in here before I passed out. Can't you do anything right, Gregory? Ow! Oh, there, there, Gregory. You've been such through such a dreadful ordeal. Uh, we're out of ice. Uh, I'm afraid these uh, pork chops from the freezer will, will have to do. I do apologize. This is not what I had planned. <laughs> what did you have planned, Bianca? A homecoming surprise. That's uh, certainly nothing like this. <laughs> but what if we had found this Gregory person with his feet propped up and eating a curry, as he did with you. You were expecting to find him there, but we certainly weren't. What if instead of being passed out on the floor, he was plundering our valuables, all in the name of testing our home security? I dare say my Albert might have given him a good cuffing. Is that what you would have done, <laughs> Albert? <laughs> She said, might have, <laughs> not would have. <laughs> Notice the distinction? <laughs> Perhaps the injury to your head has uh, affected your hearing. I can hear fine, Albert. Gregory would have told you why he was here the moment you walked in. Wouldn't you have, Gregory? Oh, I would have gotten around to it. Eventually. <laughs> you were right, Bianca. Your friend must have gotten in through a back window that we must have left unlocked. There was a bronze bust of her late Majesty Queen Elizabeth on a shelf above the window. It must have fallen when he came in. So that's what hit me. It could have split my bloody head wide open. Yes. More's the pity. I'm so sorry, my dears. Well, I'm going to have another look around to see if there's anything damaged or missing. Albert, might I suggest we improve the mood with a small repast? Perhaps some wine and cheese? Oh, why, of course, Bianca. <laughs> uh, let me just... Uh, <clears throat> uh, I would... Um, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, what to do? What to do? I know. Oh, this is, this is it. This is the Turner. That Cretan is using it as a bookmark. That thing. <laughs> My kid knew better want to color than that. Don't be a Philistine. I thought your game was knockoffs and forgeries. How do you know this is the genuine article? I know it's the real thing because I deal in knockoffs and forgeries. I have to be able to tell the difference. Think you're missing? I assure you, I can tear this up into little pieces right in front of Alan's face, and he wouldn't raise an eyebrow. He'd probably say something about the weather. Lovely weather we've been having. What? <laughs> Finally got the better of that cheese. <laughs> uh, did you find everything in order, Judith? As far as I can tell. Yeah, I just realized we'll need more wine glasses. Thank you, Albert. But Bianca and I won't be staying. We won't? You may know the real thing when it comes to art and jewels. But you don't know a real couple when you see one. What? Sorry for inconvenience, you nice people. But I'm from Scotland Yard. And I'm arresting this woman for theft, forgery, and whatever else we can charge her with. And her name isn't Bianca, is it Prunella? Oh. 
Theft? Forgery? Yes. We've been tracking her for months. She's been working her own neighborhood, filling in jewelry and art objects. Some of them real, but most of them fake. But you'd be surprised by how much money she's been getting from those fakes. My word. Home security consultant. <laughs> what a laugh. Are you sure? I mean, I trusted her with my focus. Is this real enough for you? When she put this in her bag, that was all I needed to see. Sorry, but I'll take this with me as evidence. But why would, why would she want to steal that picture? Is it worth anything? See, what did I tell you? I guess I'm not the only one who didn't pay attention in school. Hey, eh, Prunella? I'll blow it out your horn pipe. I'll be in touch. We need to get statements from both of you. Of course. It's quite bizarre, all of this. You might want to get that bust of Elizabeth praise. There was some high quality work mixed in with all that memorial folder off. It might actually have some value. And a bit of advice. Some of the most important things in life are right in front of you. Staring you in the face. Try not to be so oblivious. Some pardon was a wisdom, eh, dearie? <laughs> Night, folks. Albert! Can you believe it? Not hardly. But Bianca seemed like such a nice neighbor, when in fact she was a thief. A thief with a key to our home. Now, I'm really going to take a closer look around to see if there's anything missing. How could she have tricked us like that? Oh. Oblivious. Oh, what nonsense. Oh, bloody hell. Have you seen my bookmark? <laughs>